So I'm currently in Roland Heights right now. And this place is Lao Ma To Hot Pot. It's really good. There's kind of a wait right now. It's Sunday, um, usually about 20 to 30 minutes. So let's go. It's like in this Chinese plaza called Pearl Plaza. There's other restaurants, nail salons. We'll just order it and then we'll see if we need more. Okay. And then... So this is the sauce bar. It just has a variety of things. You'll just grab a little um, bowl for yourself and then you can kind of just mix whatever it is that you want. They're usually labeled and my sister is making her own right now. sauce. I'm just gonna mix it around. Look at that chili oil. Yum. And then this one is a little soy sauce based one. They didn't have ponzu so I'm just gonna be using a little soy sauce, um, some garlic, put some chili oil in there and I'll just be using it once I get my meat out of the soup. So we got on a half and half base. One side is pork bone and the other side is just a lightly mild. But um, if you guys don't can't handle spice, I would not recommend even getting the mild because it is very spicy here. Right, Liz? Very spicy. <laughs> These shrimp paste balls are super fresh and bomb. It's to make the soup more flavorful, put some garlic, green onions, and cilantro, but my sister doesn't like cilantro. <laughs> I'm dying. It's like my fourth cup of water. at hot pot with your clean hands if it's not already cut up into smaller pieces just because once it goes into the soup and it comes out it's just a lot easier to eat and wrap around your meat so we just got done eating this is honest review it was so spicy even though that it was a uh, mildly spicy one so if you can't handle spice in any capacity i would not recommend getting the spice level at all just get the one that doesn't have anything in it um I had dinner or I had lunch with my cousin and my sister and it was a lot of food. Um, you could definitely eat it for two people just because you're ordering everything individually but um, I would highly recommend this place and I definitely will be back. And there's also a drink store called Big Daddy Canes which is a um, freshly pressed sugar cane shop that I am headed to but here we are. I guess there's a little festival or something going on here. This is what it looks like inside. They have this cute little wall you can take photos at. Nice little rug. And 
We have some options for drinks. The Little Daddy and the Big Daddy cups. You have a base. You could add some toppings. And there's um, other pre-made ones as well. This one's just a pure sugar cane with dragon fruit. Nice, thank you so much guys. So we are here in Big Daddy Canes. I just got mine. It has coconut and pineapple and a little splash of dragon fruit. So I'm very excited. There's this really cute wall here that you can take photos in front of. So make sure to tag them and cheers.